surface ships and the drones or aircraft they operate could, in a variety of operational environments, would be more detectable to enemy radar and sensors when compared to attack submarines. Given these and other variables, Virginia-class submarines are becoming increasingly critical to clandestine intel missions beneath the surface in high-risk areas. Many in Congress are hoping the Pentagon receives enough funding to secure the acquisition of more Virginia-class attack submarines on a faster timetable to help offset an anticipated submarine shortage, best leverage the many technical advances contained in the submarine and optimize the fast-growing execution of undersea reconnaissance missions. The House Committee on Armed Services Subcommittee on Sea Power and Projection Forces announced its proposals for the markup of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2021. The subcommittee recommends the restoration of a second Virginia-class submarine and the required advanced procurement to maintain the two-per-year build rate, as reported by Sea Power magazine. Additional attack submarines promise to bring new levels of undersea firepower drone control and stealthy reconnaissance technology in the nearer term. While firepower and attack weapons are naturally still a major area of focus for Virginia-class submarines, the expanding ISR mission scope made possible by new technologies has provided key inspiration for senior Navy developers and members of Congress who have been working vigorously to increase the size of the attack submarine fleet. Land weapons, port activities and other enemy movements in coastal or island areas are more difficult for deeper draft surface ships to access, often complicating surveillance missions, without giving away their position. Surface ships and the drones or aircraft they operate could, in a variety of operational environments, would be more detectable to enemy radar and sensors when compared to attack submarines. Given these and other variables, Virginia-class submarines are becoming increasingly critical to clandestine intel missions beneath the surface in high-risk areas. Virginia-class submarines are engineered with fly-by-wire capability which allows the ship to quietly linger in shallow waters without having to surface or have each small move controlled by a human operator. With this technology, a human operator will order depth and speed, allowing software to direct the movement of the planes and rudder to maintain course and depth. The ships can be driven primarily through software code and electronics, thus freeing up time and energy for an operator who does not need to manually control each small maneuver. This technology, using upgradable software and fast-growing AI applications, widens the mission envelope for the attack submarines by vastly expanding their ISR potential. Using real-time analytics and an instant ability to draw upon and organize vast databases of information and sensor input, computer algorithms can now perform a range of procedural functions historically performed by humans. This can increase the speed of maneuverability and an attack submarine's ability to quickly shift course, change speed or alter depth positioning when faced with attacks. The most important feature for maneuvering in littoral waters is the fly-by-wire control system whereby computers in the control center electronically adjust the submarine's control surfaces, a significant improvement from the hydraulic systems used in the Los Angeles class, a 2016 Stanford University The Future of Nuclear Submarines paper by Alexander Yakinen writes. The U.S. Navy's 2018 commander's intent for the United States Submarine Force, writes, we are uniquely capable of, and often best employed in, stealthy, clandestine and independent operations. We exploit the advantages of undersea concealment which allow us to conduct undetected operations such as strategic deterrent patrols, intelligence collection, special operations forces support, non-provocative transits, and repositioning, the Navy strategy document writes. Virginia-class subs are armed with Tomahawk missiles, torpedoes and other weapons able to perform a range of missions, these include anti-submarine warfare, strike warfare, covert mine warfare, ISR, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, anti-surface-slash-ship warfare and naval special warfare. Something described as having the ability to carry and insert special operations forces. Future Virginia-class submarines provide improved littoral, coastal waters, capabilities, sensors, special operations force employment, and strike warfare capabilities. Subhunting spy planes armed with torpedoes, maritime drones armed with missiles, high-resolution, surface scanning cameras, and fast-moving surface ships dragging sonar sensors while conducting surface reconnaissance are all fast-growing threats to U.S. Navy submarines. Part of the challenge is finding ways to minimize Navy submarine vulnerability to enemy detection and attack by simply remaining at safer depths, yet in order to achieve a high degree of high-speed connectivity, submarines need to break the ocean surface by coming to periscope depth, which is closer to the surface. The U.S. Navy is working with a number of industry partners such as Northrop Grumman to identify, 
evolve and refine new kinds of undersea communications technology. Today, the submarine comes to periscope depth and conducts the majority of its transmissions at this depth. Capabilities we're developing at Northrop Grumman will allow the submarine to never have to come up to the surface, because it is at its most vulnerable when at periscope depth. Alan Lettel, Vice President of Strategy and Mission Solutions, Maritime Slash Land Systems and Sensors Division, Northrop Grumman. Interestingly, while most people might immediately associate Northrop Grumman with high-profile programs such as its B-2 and B-21 stealth bombers, the company's history with undersea warfare goes back nearly 100 years, including substantial World War II efforts. Years ago, Northrop Grumman was involved in adapting radio frequency RF, technologies to undersea acoustic systems and developed the first electric torpedoes for Navy submarines. We have been working in the undersea domain for well over 50 years, and our support for the Navy stretches back even further," said Jenny Roberts, Director of Strategy, Investments and Integration, Maritime Slash Line Systems and Sensors Division, Northrop Grumman. Roberts, who formerly worked as a Director for Undersea Influence at the Navy's Undersea Warfare Division, says Northrop Grumman innovators seek to align closely with the sense of mission and purpose now driving the U.S. Navy's push to stay in front of undersea warfare technology. We bring together the power of the corporation's continuous innovation to provide capabilities our Navy customers need for mission success, Roberts explained to the national interest. As part of the ongoing effort to synchronize efforts with the Navy, Northrop Grumman developers are placing a special premium on innovation in the areas of undersea warfare and cross-domain networking. To deter future conflict or to ensure we win if future conflict arises, we need to provide capabilities which expand the influence of the undersea force, including connectivity across all domains," Lytle added. In light of this, Northrop Grumman developers discuss their efforts to link undersea and space domains in the context of the Pentagon's fast-evolving Joint All-Domain Command and Control Initiative. <laughs>